And welcome back to another video brought to you by Rib. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the latest VRP framework with the FX server. So first of all, head over to 5M and click the download server and it will give you the wiki with the information that you will need. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our server, put this onto the server. So we're using a VPS, so if I, is he on? He is on so I'll leave that server. So let's go onto my VPS, let's open up this wiki link from 5M. Down, clear my downloads, keep everything nice and simple for you. Downloads. Right, so it says do 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 we're gonna need this. So let's download the resource that we need, and then also we need and I just closed that one noob. And also we need the artifacts. So let's go down to up to on the top here. And that's a Windows Server. We're setting this up on a, on a VPS. So we've got master. Let's go to the 13th of August, the latest one. Server.zip. Lovely jubbly. There we are. Let's close this. Right, what you need to do now in your C drive. Let's create a folder called FX Server. We've already got one there, so we'll call this FX Server 2. Server 2. Right, so before we do anything, there's two things you need. One called XAMP, which looks like this. XAMP, start mine up. It's, it's obviously free. There's two programs you need before we do anything. It's free. So I'll put the link for this in the description. And once you've installed it, you need to make sure Apache and MySQL are running. So all you do is click install on the arrow and you start it. This is what Connect use is to connect to your database. The other thing you need is Heidi, which is for your databases. And in here, in the new session, I put I'm renamed mine to VRPFX uh, root with no password. And same again when you're in here, right click, create a database, and call that database VRPFX. Okay, following, lovely jubbly. Let's go to the download. So let's create the folder here, and we'll move it across to the C drive. So call this FX server 3. Right, let's put that in there and let's extract this one. Lovely, let's delete that now. Back to the downloads, copy this one. And do, do, do. Let's put this in here also. Paste. Extract here. Delete this. Actually, just take these, copy them back one, paste them there, you can get rid of that. So it should look like this. Okay, now you need the VRP framework, so let's go to VRP, VRP Psycho, I'll put the links to all of this in the description, um, FX, sorry, 5M will put, 5M, it'll take us to this, link will be in the description, let's go to the top, and download, download and that's downloaded oops we're not even on the server psycho uh, vrp 5m let's do the same again download it download from the mega link download okay that's downloaded so back to our downloads. So this is it here, extract. Right, what we need to do with these is these three we need to go inside the resources folder in the file folder you just made. So resources, let's put them there. Go back, back. So we've done them and these two here. Copy into the folder you made, into the resources, sorry, just the folder you made and put them there. The server CFG is already made for you, so if we edit this, you'll see what I mean. He's already all done it for you. Your resources, your new resources, you just put here. Um, but we'll change the host name to Real Life, so we can find it on the server sheet, on the server list, to make sure it's all working. And if you're doing this on a PC, you're gonna have to port forward. It'll be 30120 is the port you need to port forward. But with a VPS, you don't need to port forward, so that's already done. So let's save this. Okay, when I run this server 
all the inf all the database creation would already made into into Heidi. That's making that's only if your database stuff will match into your CFG base. Let's go to edit. Here's your database. My that is my database name. That is my user, and I haven't got a password. So that is in the resources CF VLP CFG and in base where you put your database information. So if I run this. Well, before we run it, we need to put it in the C drive or it won't find it. Copy C drive based. There we are. Let's run this. Run. Any key to continue. So this is started. If we go into 5M, let's go to history. Let's find the server. Let's go to servers. Let's go to. That's my little boy, Scotty. Rib life, or we can just find it on the on the IP, which is two. One. I'll tell you what. We need to change the IP for a start because we've got two servers. So let's change the IP. Right, let's change the I the port, sorry, so C drive VFX three and we need to change the port to three oh one two one because we've already got a server running on the three oh one two oh three oh one two one three oh one so you can set up as many servers as you want, but you just always need to change the port. So that's that changed. Now let's go to cache, let's refresh the cache. X three VRP run. I've just closed the server down on. So, no, that was the other server. Okay, click a key. That should be started and we should be able to find it. So let's go to 216.52. Um, I forgot what. 143.236.30121. Oh. What port am I running? What's my, what's my other server running on? Let's have a look. Let me just close this again. Let's go to... I don't know what port my other my main port's running on. My main server. So let's delete this. Let's go to my main server. Let's check the port on this. Server CFG edit. So that's running on 30121. So we need to run 30120 on the new server. Which is FX server 3. Let's go to server CFG. Let's change the port back to 0. Zero, zero, save. Okay, now this should be good to set up to so start. Rib life. Okay, servers. Direct connects. Two one six dot fifty two dot one four three dot two three six. Rib life. Can we connect? So far, so good. It's obviously all standard, it's all default. All this will be changed. Uh, let's start this again. Let's restart 5M. My, re my 5M has been started since this morning. Let's restart 5M. 5M, 5M. So basically you need XAMP, you need to install XAMP, you need to install the, the MySQL for XAMP, you need to set up Heidi, you need to set up a database called VRPFX, or session VRPFX, user root, no password, it's a rib life. Um, yeah, and just do what I've done in the video, and it all should be Gucci. And it should be like this, we should be able to get on. And hey ho amigo, all done. It's looking good. Uh, do, 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 initializing session, come on. Yep, sorted. So that's it boys, all working. As you can see in the bottom right, loading. Welcome to Rib Life. First person that joins the server is the server admin. 
so if you're not the first person to join in the users you're gonna have to change the ID to one for yourself let's just load properly in just to show you that it's working and we're all sorted hope you can follow that guys if you can't just uh, keep doing step by step but reloading sorry re uh, pausing the video then carrying on but we're in there's the VLP framework hey ho jobs are good and hope it's useful adios amigos